Okay, my friends. So what we're going to do today is instead of uh, coloring in the background around a rail, we're actually going to cut it out and glue it down to a different background. So we're going to put this to the side. Whatever well you made is fine. And I want you to get your crayons because I know that's what you have at home or you should have at home. If you have colored pencils, you can use those instead. So just use whatever coloring supplies you have. I'm going to use crayons. Now I've separated my crayons into warm and cool colors. You can do this one of three ways. So the first way is you can use cool colors to make it look like the whale is in the ocean, or you can use warm colors to contrast our whale. So the contrast will create, um, a, you know, the whale will just stand out better. So the, it'll create the differences between that. Or the third way, you can use all of the colors in some kind of rainbow that you create across your paper. Um, I'm going to go with a rainbow. Um, you can do, like I said, you can do this however you like. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to draw a square and I'm going to color in that square and I'm not coloring it in very solidly. I'm just doing it lightly because we're going to actually end up mixing colors together a little bit. So we talked about color with our color wheel and mixing colors. So we're going to do it with our coloring supplies. So then I'm going to draw an overlapping orange triangle. So I'm going to color in lightly over the red and I'm going to continue coloring until I get to the end. Now if we used just warm colors, this is the same process we would use. If you use just cool colors, this is the same process we would use. So again, I'm going to do that with yellow and just lightly color that in. Next, I'm going to need green and I'm going to continue this process until I run out of the uh, six colors that I already have. Now, as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm creating the different parts of the color wheel. Okay, so I have red, I have red orange, orange, or yellow orange, yellow, yellow green, green, blue green, blue, and then I'm going to do violet. Now I have blue violet, I have violet, and if you guys remember, um, you start again back at red. I'm going to take that to the edge. Now you can keep doing this pattern all the way down, or you can do what I'm going to do, and I'm going to skip things over. So the next square I'm going to draw, I'm going to keep them connected. I'm going to go over like this. And I'm just going to start with orange this time. So it's going to look like I'm shifting my colors because that's is what I'm doing. So I'm going to do that again. The only difference is I'm shifting my colors over. You don't have to do it this way if you don't want to. I'm just being extra, but you should be overlapping your colors while you're drawing them. So you don't have to do the rainbow where it shifts. It does look pretty cool when you're done though. So I'm going to continue doing this until I run out of space on my paper. And then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So again, I'm just overlapping my colors with my crayons. If you have colored pencils instead of crayons, same process applies. Like I said before, I'm just using crayons um, because I, I want to for this project. So as I come to the end of the second row, it's going to end with orange this time because that's the color we started with. Okay, so that you can guess the next one is going to be a yellow 
square or rectangle. Oops. And then I'm going to continue the same process all the way across to create a rainbow effect. Now I'm going to finish that up. And when we come back, I'll show you what it looks like. friends and that is it for our background and that's all you have to do today is make a background now i made mine like this you can make yours with circles if you want it to make it look like it has bubbles uh just do as long as you are overlapping your colors and like i said you can use warm colors you can use cool colors you can use uh any combination of those colors you can make a rainbow just make a nice colorful background and make sure you color the whole thing in so that when we cut out our whale and glue it on there, it's going to look really, really cool. All right, guys, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.